you will check in emergency checker visit for him for the summer G go as planned by back and party. Like the link to the video will be the description below. Go and check my so let's into this vaccine 3, 2, 1. Okay, this day has been full of a bunch of freaking surprises. I just got an email, like a really, really good email sent to me and it says, Dear Missionary, thank you for to announce something super big. We may or may not be having friends come the next week and hang out with us. We got, yeah, well, well our mom is gone. So it's just gonna be like, it's gonna be a bunch of teens. My girl- Emergency vet said she thinks it's broken and she told us to go to our regular vet and get it- X-ray? X-ray checked. Okay, so. That thinks it's broken. I kind of think it's broken just because it's not, it doesn't move like normally. Good morning, everyone. I literally just woke up and I just crawled out of bed. It is finally my last time sleeping in Boston's room. We have um, all of our family leaving out of town today. So I can finally wake up in peace and try and not wake him up. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I get to have my own room again. But for this morning, I'm gonna go work on packing up all my stuff, throwing it back into my room. And then also today we have a big thing going on. We're taking Jason to the vet. I was talking in our last video about an animal attack that he had on our graduation day. So basically an animal bit him or something or like clawed him like really bad. He had like a few punctures in like his lower back and then we think his tail is broken whenever he like walks and stuff he'll just like meow he's like kind of like, like crying or like i don't know he's just some, in some sort of discomfort and then his tail is not going up like it normally does it's just like hanging and dragging it's super sad so we're gonna get that checked out today well, and it took forever for us to get him into a vet which was crazy because i feel like in tennessee they have so many more farms and so many animals and stuff but it's a little different we're gonna go get him checked out at the vet but i'll show you guys what he looks like right now okay here he is he's laying down in some sort of weird way what Aw, looks like he's feeling a little bit better because he's been sleeping and stuff a lot deeper. He's not like meowing and meowing and meowing, but. I have a video, I'll put the video on the screen of him just like walking. You can kind of see it just doesn't look like a normal like cat walk and stuff. Then he also was tripping too the other day. Like he was running super fast and then he like fell down. It's gonna be good that we're getting him into the vet. Poor guy, we're gonna try and get him some more medicine because he ran out. Okay, I just ate breakfast, but if you guys look, here he is. You can finally see where he was like bit or like scratched up, and then his tail just hangs. So, we're gonna get you checked out today. He's been acting more normal. Like, we'll come home and like he's not laying oh, underneath the bed. Like, he's just like walking around. Yeah. But like, I know that like it just hurts him. Like, if you pet him, like he's totally fine, but like he just doesn't like anything touching his tail. Yeah. It has been way too long since we showed you guys what we've been doing. And I just think you guys need a whole updated Mike Cell family farm tour. I'm going to show you guys everything that we're doing and stuff that we put in our backyard. So, first off, we got this little motorcycle. We got this a while ago. I'm pretty sure we already vlogged it. But I just added an extra seat. Just kidding. I just zip tied the Lowe's bucket to the seat. So, like, when I go out and go get the mail, I can just throw everything in there and then have two hands on there. But today, I'm going to give you a tour with the tripod in there. And the camera on there and show you guys everything. So let's go. First, I'll start off with our chicks. They're not really chicks anymore. They're basically almost full grown chickens. I literally feel like they could start laying eggs anytime. And also, we think that guy right there in the middle is actually a rooster by accident. So yeah, that might Hopefully be a little so. problem with all these other girls. But well, they're so cute. They'll literally come up to you and they think that we have, I have food in my hands, but I don't. But just look how freaking cute they are. They're so sweet. We even have a swing for them. They don't really know how to use it just yet though. <laughs> Straight across from our chickens. We worked on a project yesterday, getting our hot tub over here. We had this at our whole house and we had it on the deck, but 
Unfortunately, the deck uh, wasn't gonna hold up all the weight and we're thankful the owner told us that because we would have filled it up with water and then crashed through the decking right there. And then right down there in the corner of our yard, we have our barn going up. So this is probably a better perspective. Right here, this is where we're gonna have uh, like a huge, like kind of garage door, barn door looking thing. Over here is all stalls, stalls on that side. And in the, in the very back corner over there where all the plumbing is, we're gonna have a shower and then a toilet, I think. The sad thing is, is that I think this barn is literally gonna be built by the time that I'm leaving. We're not gonna get like any farm animals until then. I think we're gonna start off with just like getting like a mini cow and then I think we're gonna get a lot like a llama a or an cow. alpaca or like a donkey or something like that. Just later down the road we're gonna go and we're gonna get horses. It'll be pretty fun and when I come back from my mission and then we'll have a bunch of farm animals and stuff. I'm gonna be sad missing all this and our new house for the next two years. So if you check out that my assignment starts in 21 days. And that literally feels insane to me. I feel like I just got my call. I've even been having like dreams of where I'll wake up and I'll literally be sweating just because of how nervous I am for going on, on my mission. But I'm pretty sure that's normal. I, I was talking to some of my other buddies that are going on missions too. One of my friends, he's like, he's like, he's getting super, super nervous too now. So, I mean, I guess we all just go through it, but. A little update on the mission too is I haven't got my visa just yet. So I'm still waiting. I think it's gonna take like a couple weeks or something or maybe even like till the rest of this month. And then I also am setting up all my final appointments for for my mission so I'm gonna oh actually I need to set up my orthodontist appointment to get another set of retainers because all I have is just like one pair and they say like it's good to bring two just in case one breaks so I should actually go do that right now I waited for like ever because they weren't open but I'm calling them right now my orthodontist is not in business anymore or they don't, just don't have a number for the office anymore. I'm gonna risk it and go to Brazil with only one retainer. Okay, we're saying goodbye to all of our family out there. Got their bags packed, but it is time to take Jason to his doctor's appointment. There he is. All right, <laughs> come on, it's time to go take you. Yeah, try not to touch his tail. <laughs> Aw, let's go, buddy. We got his clear suitcase that he's going in. Oh. Lay, lay down now. Wait, make sure his tail doesn't get touched. There we go. Let's go, yes. bunny. There you go, Jay. Let's go. All right, we're all sitting in the car. We got my dad. We got my mom. Ready? Right, yeah. So my prediction for Jason and his whole getting healthy. So I was thinking, I'm like, they might have to like cut off his tail. So that's kind of what I think. Just because if it's like, because what if it's paralyzed? Like you can't do anything with it. So sad. I know that would make me so sad. So he, he would look he like, a, like he'd look like a baby bobcat. The first thing is I hope he's not paralyzed back there, because I would screw up your balance, and then having to cut it off would suck. That Actually, far. so much more. Alert he's better today. today like, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he was crying and crying and crying, yeah. but he's doing a lot better. I don't know. In my mind, I just like it. Just like reset it or something. Just reset it and give him some more pain meds. Yeah, reset it. Yeah. Hey Dad, you said that he might have to get surgery. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they do with them broken. They cut them open? Yeah, we're going to the vet not knowing what we're going to do exactly. Like, we don't even know if you can cast something like this. The thing is, we don't even know 100% if it's broken or not. But I, like, definitely think it's either really, well, really the, bruised the, the, or it's the broken. The emergency vet said she thinks it's broken. And she told us to go to our regular vet and get it x-rayed x -rayed and checked. Okay, so... Vet thinks it's broken. I kind of think it's broken just because it's not, it doesn't move like normally. He's not in as much pain, so I don't know. We made it. Let's go see what they're gonna have to say about him. All right, we checked in and it's wait time now. Let's find some answers. All right, we made it to the office with Jason. We're in the room. She's just kind of explaining what um, you would do with like a broken tail. Either you just like let it heal on your own or there's like amputation, which we were thinking but Nothing life-threatening. Not, nothing life-threatening, so he's gonna be okay. Dad, what are you thinking right now? How much is this gonna cost me? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just want him to feel better. I hope he, yeah, I, I just want him to start feeling better because it's yeah. sad watching him like this. Mm -hmm. And now he's just hanging out. Waiting for the, the doctor vet to come see him. I don't want to show too much, but they went and poked a needle, I guess, inside of his tail. Because he had like an abscess or whatever. Like some fluid in there. Mm -hmm. At least it's not broken. That's like the best thing that could have happened today. Well, 
that we know. We don't know. We don't know yet. Well, we're gonna get yeah, talked to you by the we're gonna get talked to you by the the big fat guy. So we'll hear in just a sec. All right, we're leaving the doctor's like office it. right now, going back home. The verdict is Jason had like a little abscess. He had like a swollen. Um, I don't even know what you call it, like a swollen bubble on his back, like where his tail is, so that's probably why it wasn't going up. We had to get him some medicine. You guys could see there's like the white dot that was in there. So we're trying to make him take that so he'll be out of pain and stuff. Other than that, it's just gonna take a, a couple more days to heal. That's like the best news possible that we could have ever gotten at the vet. We're just super glad that it's not broken. Just hanging out and I just yeah. saw that Boston and I both got some letters, one for me, one for Boston. It's just a little graduation card from our aunt that stayed here. She even threw in some money too. Boston, she got one for you too. What? Yeah, and she threw in some money too, which is what? like Why freaking she awesome. Money? I know, seriously. And then also, we got some gift cards too from our other cousins to stay here for our graduation. I never knew that you got graduation gifts from like other people. I thought that was just like what? Like just from your what? friends. Like, oh, here's a, oh, here's like 25 bucks for gas on your way to college or something like that. So we do sweet. have the best family ever, and so I'm kind of sad that they're all gone now because it's just an empty home with just us. I know they were so fun. Like, yeah, we're gonna see them again when we go to Utah in July. But like, oh, it yeah. was so. Fun. And then to announce something super big, we may or may not be having friends come the next week and hang out I'm with us. Done. We got yeah, well, well our mom is gone. So it's just gonna be like it's gonna be a bunch of teens. My girlfriend's gonna be here. So, it's gonna be crazy. I, I literally cannot wait. I think anytime Kesley comes into town, it just makes me a happier person. Okay, then also talking about oh, Kesley coming into town. Literally the next month from the day this video goes out is gonna be our four years together. I need to go and find some gifts and find some fun things that she might like. So I've already been looking on Amazon. I know I'm gonna get her like some candies and stuff that you can't really find out here or you can't find in stores anywhere. I'm also gonna try and get her something super, super special. You might just have to guess what it might be and I might answer it. I need to just find some special gifts. So if you guys have any like special anniversary gifts, let me know and I'm gonna go and buy those. Home sweet home. I am finally back into my room. I'm gonna move um, like all my laundry and then all my other like bathroom stuff back into my room. It literally feels so good being in my own room now. I swear with Boston, I was going insane. So I think when I'm on my mission in uh, Brazil, I might go a little insane at some times. I'm gonna wind down the night a little early here. I think Boss and I, we're gonna go hot tubbing and stuff, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna move all my crap back in here. Okay, this day has been full of a bunch of freaking surprises. I just got an email, like a really, really good email sent to me and it says, Dear Missionary, thank you for submitting your paperwork. We've started working on your travel doc documents. We will contact you via email when we have completed this process and you are ready to travel. Thank you. That was one thing that I was so worried about was all those freaking documents because I like screwed up a few times and then I had to like redo some like document stuff. But you guys, they're already in and I'm gonna be getting my visa pretty soon. So, well, that's what it sounds like. I'm just getting closer and closer to going to that country right behind me. You know, so comment down below if you want me to react to, to the video. Comment down below. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that the cat is doing okay. The link to the video will be in the description below. Go and say goodbye. And probably like if you like. And comment down below if you want to see more reaction like this one. And subscribe if you're new, and click the button to be notified when I upload in my